I had to give you one simple tip to increase your damage, no matter what class you're playing, this very easily would be it. I want to explain to you a tip that will increase your damage in Diablo 4. The cool thing about this tip is it will work on every single class. So this does not just work on Druid, it's gonna work on Barbarian, Necromancer, Rogue, Sorcerer, okay? It's gonna work on all of them. So in order for you to understand this tip, you're going to need to understand what Vulnerable is and what Vulnerable Damage Bonus is. So Vulnerable, effectively, let me show you, it works as a debuff on the enemy. You can see they have a purple health bar around them and it has a base of 20% damage increase. It's sort of like a vulnerability and armor break, you know, whatever you want to call it, a defense down type of situation. It doesn't actually decrease their armor, but what it does is just give you a flat 20% increased damage to them. And you're going to know this no matter what move I actually use, I apply vulnerability and we're going to talk about how to do that in just a moment. But the thing about vulnerability is you can also increase the amount of damage that your vulnerability increases by having other items. So for effectively, if you look at my weapon here, I have 60% vulnerability damage. And because of that, that goes onto the 20% base, etc. And the good thing about vulnerability damage is these calculations happen after all the other ones. So once you've got all your calculations done and how much damage you're gonna do, then you're gonna effectively times it by your percentage of the vulnerable damage, and you are going to have the damage in which you are able to do at the end of it. For this reason, it is extremely important on things like bosses, it is going to be extremely important on even clearing trash mobs, and we can actually get vulnerability on every single ability. So if you have a core skill, for instance, I am spamming tornado on the build I'm messing around with right now, not only is my tornado going to apply a slow on them, it's also going to apply a vulnerability on them, meaning, you know, slowed crowd control and now vulnerable damage will also increase the damage done by my tornado. So for that reason, I'm going to explain to you how to accomplish this because vulnerability is actually very important for your overall damage. Now, when you hit level 50, you're gonna unlock the Paragon board. Once you unlock the Paragon board, very quickly, you'll get to your first glyph socket. There are a lot of glyphs in the game. It can be very tempting to run glyphs like, oh, the ones that make my nature skills better, or the one that makes my werebear better, et cetera. But there's actually one glyph that's very important called exploit. Now what exploit's going to do is not only increase your vulnerable damage for dexterity in the range, but if you have 25 dexterity, it will make it where every single time you just damage an enemy, you will 100% of the time proc vulnerable on them for three seconds. And three seconds is very often enough in order for you to be able to kill a normal mob. Now this has a 20 second cooldown, meaning you don't get 100% uptime of this on a boss, but you can use it to start with the boss. You can use another move. For instance, I have vulnerability as well in my hurricane. So you might want to start looking through if you are just kind of learning your class, you might want to look through and see where is it that you can actually try to get vulnerability from. You know, for instance, my natural hurricane gives me a chance to apply vulnerability as well. You might want to look at your passives, etc. But the exploit, is a really, really valuable glyph. Because what I can do now is, let's say I have my core scale, which is this ability here is the one that more or less does all my damage. When I run up and hit somebody, they're automatically vulnerable for that. So I'm getting that calculation, that final bonus percentage of my damage right off the bat. And so that's gonna give you a really big uh, single target damage increase, but also AOE increase, because vulnerability will work on all your abilities. So it doesn't just have to work on a single target. You can slam down an AOE or something like that and vulnerable the whole crowd of them for three full seconds. And because vulnerability is its own modifier and because vulnerable damage does roll on different items, you see even the ring here, I have vulnerable damage, making sure that you have a way of proccing vulnerability as soon as possible, meaning on your first hit as possible so that your follow-up uh, you know, damage uh, can apply with the vulnerable proc is one of the most important things you can do for your overall health of damage. So in order to actually get this exploit glyph, this is a glyph that will is for every class. So not just the druid gets this class and you just need to farm your glyphs. You can get these from Nightmare Sigils, um, mostly is where I farm mine, Tree of Whisper Runs, etc. But farm your glyphs until you get the exploit and don't sleep on this one because you can increase your vulnerable percentage damage, which again is its own modifier, and then you get that guaranteed vulnerable, which will work on every single move. So if I had to give you one simple tip to increase your damage, no matter what class you're playing, this very easily would be it.